The Indian Air Force is actively preparing air bases for Tejas Mark 1A operations, and by mid-2025, the bases earmarked for the 3rd Mark 1A squadron will be fully equipped to accommodate and support the deployment of these indigenous fighter jets. The Indian Air Force is all set to sign a significant agreement with Hindustan Aeronautics for the procurement of 240 AL-31F jet engines for 120 Su-30 aircraft. In a joint military exercise with Cambodia, the Chinese Army unveiled its newest gun-toting robot dog. BSF is all set to order significant quantities of 50 caliber long-range sniper rifles with thermal scopes. Mazagin Dock Limited conducted the steel cutting ceremony for first next generation offshore patrol vessel for the Indian Coast Guard. Shoft Shipyard has delivered the second indigenously built 25-ton bollard pull tug to the Indian Navy in Mumbai. Experts believe China's deployment of six J-20 fighter jets is likely a response to India's deployment of Rafale fighter jets and MiG-29 UPGs in the region. India witnessed a record-breaking 21,083 crore rupees in defense exports for the financial year 2023, which is a 32.5% increase from the previous year. The number of Indian defense export authorizations has jumped by 6.58%. That point towards a growing potential for India to become a prominent player in the global defense market. Hyderabad-based Vira Dynamics has signed MOU with the Romanian firm, for producing the EXO-2 firefighting gun with transfer of technology. Bigan Technologies has showcased its Chakra battery-powered helicopter UAV family to the Indian Army, and the company is also developing advanced models capable of carrying up to 100 kilograms and a two-person UAV helicopter. After Indian Air Force's purchase of 36 Rafales worth 26,000 crore rupees in 2016 with offsets and logistics package, the Indian Navy is now buying Rafale Marine fighter jets, and several media houses have reported the cost of the deal to be between 40,000 crore rupees to 50,000 crores for just 26 Rafale Marine aircraft without the logistics and offsets clause which seems nearly double of what the Air Force paid as the base price of 36 jets eight years ago, if the value of 50,000 crore rupees for 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets is any closer to reality, the Rafale Marine deal could again kick up a political storm. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said, that AMCA's stealth shaping is now finalized, and its design has reached maturity and the internal systems layout is complete, which signifies a major breakthrough for the next generation fighter program. With the internal systems layout finalized, HAL can now focus on further development and testing phases, bringing this next generation fighter jet closer to operational reality. He also said, that HAL will now develop additional systems and build five AMCA prototypes for evaluation and testing. The Tejas Mark 1 has recently been spotted with the ASRAM, marking it the third close combat missile under testing for the platform after the Russian R-73 and Israeli Python 5. Experts have said that the integration of these three different close combat missiles from distinct countries and manufacturers not only enhances the aircraft combat versatility, as Indian pilots can select the most suitable missile based on the specific combat scenario, but it will also complicate adversaries' countermeasures due to the diverse infrared sensor technologies, maneuverability profiles and functionalities of each missile system. Today's top 3 comments.